I like to use toasted sesame seeds as a topping for nori rolls, salads, and all kind of vegetables and rice. They're a good source of calcium and other minerals, and they bring a crunchy aromatic element that can enhance any dish. You can buy pre-toasted seeds from the grocery store, but you never know how long ago they were toasted. They often taste stale. If you toast them yourself, they'll taste much fresher, and it's so easy and quick to do. Sesame seeds come in various colors, white, brown, red, and black. I use brown sesame seeds, but white ones are fine too. The black ones tend to be drier, and I only use them occasionally for decoration. I was taught to wash the seeds in a strainer before toasting, but to be honest, I rarely do. I just pour them into a stainless steel pan and turn on the stove to medium heat. I use a pan with curved sides because then I can shake the pan and flip the seeds. This is easier than you think. Just move your hand forward horizontally and jerk it back when the seeds get closer to the far edge. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there that show how to do this. You might want to first practice over the sink. If you don't have this type of pan or you're not comfortable flipping the seeds, use a wooden spoon to move the seeds around. They can burn easily, so you need to keep them moving. If they start popping and jumping out of the pan, the heat is too high, so turn it down a little. After a few minutes, you should be able to smell the aroma of the seeds. When you can crush them easily between your thumb and forefinger, they're done. I like to get them out of the pan as soon as they're done, so they don't keep toasting in the hot pan. And here's a good trick. To get them into a container without making a mess, Fold a clean sheet of paper in half and hold it so it funnels the seeds from the pan into the container. Because the seeds are still warm, don't put the lid on the container until the seeds are cool. That way the moisture from the warm seeds won't make the seeds soggy. They'll keep in the container for a couple of weeks. Enjoy! Hope that helps!